Welcome back on this Wednesday morning. It's an age old question. How do you get people to stop speeding? Well, Pittsburgh City Council is taking on that question. Channel 11's Alyssa Raymond is live this morning up on Grandview Avenue and Alyssa City Council says it is time for change. Yes, and last summer they had some changes up here on Grandview Avenue. We're talking about these speed humps that were permanently installed to try to get drivers to slow down. You can see, well, that was a city truck, but that worked there. And now they're asking for yet another tool. City Council just unanimously passed a resolution asking the state for local control of speed limits. Right now, leaders say they can only control speed limits in city parks. The speed limit everywhere else is up to the state, and until that changes, they say their hands are tied. That would be so huge. If we can control our speed limits in the city, it would it would save so much on all the other efforts that we're doing because if you want somebody to go 25 and you make it 15, they might go 25. 10 miles per hour more can really impact uh, somebody's survival. So it, it's really important to make sure we're getting a handle on it. Here's a look at the percentages to back that up. Uh, this was also included in the resolution. The odds of death for a pedestrian struck at 20 miles per hour is 18%. The odds of death increases to 50% as the speed increases to 30 miles per hour and 64% at 35 miles per hour. So if state lawmakers give municipalities uh, the ability to control these speed limits. Some city, city leaders say that they want to see the secondary roads drop to 15 miles per hour and and then the main neighborhood roads dropped to 25 miles per hour. Reporting from Mount Washington this morning, Alyssa Raymond, Channel 11 News.